good afternoon all of you today i'm going to show you how to analyze the olympics data data till the rio olympics so that's the latest olympics data available in the kaggle website so i'm going to analyze that using different conditions okay so how to select data with different Uh, different options i'll i'll demonstrate that to you so here we go we have we have three libraries needed for this this is for grouping and all and this for the floating and this is for again uh, retrieving the data in a specific format and all. okay so this is the csv file we get from the kaggle database so it has got different columns and we load it and we'll see how many observations are there and another file for the regions code and and then the code from the olympic committee and then region and if any notes are there so so we will load that so we are loading the first csv file to athletes data frame so it's a very big file so we can see there are nearly 270000 rows and 15 columns are there so i'm going to load the next one also so here is 230 rows three variables now we can just see the first six okay first six rows of athletes so this is the thing and for six rows of the region okay so now we are going to combine these two csv files to a data frame athletes underscore df so we are using the function merge so here it will merge with the natural join Now to join the sense suppose a is one two three four five and b is two three five six natural join will have that is common in the both so natural join will be two three five so by default that is a property so we are going to combine athletes and region these two based on noc okay so these two has got noc this first csv file has got noc column and second csv file has also got noc so we are going to combine these two csv files based on the column noc so um, both should have common noc values then only it will merge okay so we'll execute this and see so one has got this many rows so we'll combine and see okay and there are different properties for combining you can take where x this where x is we take all the rows of x and then combine so if noc particular that value is not there then it will give na so uh, you can take y dot all equal true that means y column will be everything will be taken like that different options are there here by default we'll take the natural join okay natural join this is example A is one two three four five. B is two three five six. Natural join will be two three five because two three and five are present in both. Okay, so we are going to merge these two into athletes underscore df, and let us see. So we have merged. So here you can see the number of rows has come down. Some some rows has been omitted. Maybe that is due to that particular value of noc is not present in in the second file okay that may be the reason so here as you, you can see the number of rows has been decreased okay so now now we will be doing all the data manipulation in this data frame the uh, athletes underscore df so that is a combined data frame so you can just click this and see you can see here this region and nodes do not have 
the first letter as ca in caps so we can just rename those and make it uniform so that is 16th column name is changed to region and 17th is changed to nodes okay. just to make it uniform now you can see it would have changed okay let's change okay now everything is in common style so there's an a function summary i had told about this before it will show you each uh, the details regarding each column what is whether it is a character whether it is an integer mean all these things okay so it will show you see suppose if it is a number type then it will show you minimum value maximum value the number of na's in that okay so na's uh, we have to remove na's because i'll show you why it has to be removed so now i'm going to find which all columns has got na using this function i have told this how to do this how to do this before so this will show you which all columns has got na value okay so age height weight medal and region has got na so you can suppose in the age column you want to see how many NAs are there. This is a command for that. It will to tell you 9462. So that you can use S supply and then see in each column how many NAs are there for each one. Okay. You can use this command and you can see A has got this many NAs. And just with one com one command you can see S supply. You are giving the data frame and then this function will tell for each column it will tell how many NAs are there and you can find unique values in it in the age column and you can see NA is coming and there are some uh, functions in which you can remove the NAs and then get the value okay here maximum value NA.RM will remove the NAs and then find okay 97 is the maximum age the thing is that uh, see NAs are present means it will affect our results I will show you how it is going to affect now I want to find the columns that has got medal as gold okay this medal has got NAs this many NAs are there okay so I want to find which all column which all rows has got medal as gold okay just try to see the where it is na so that that's also going to affect so i want to get the rows that has got medal as gold so this is a command okay first um first six rows i i want to get see that's not it's not coming properly you can see i want to get the rows which has got medal as gold so what we have to do we have to drop the NAs one technique is remove all the call all the rows that has got NA I will just show you but that will affect our data size I am going to make a new data frame by dropping all the NAs okay you can see see this 270,000 something has become 30,000 so that is the problem you cannot remove all the NAs from the data frame in a go so I, I told you about this one see um, the problem is it will affect our results so some something we have to do so for the medal what I'm going to do is that I'm going to assign NA okay I'm going to assign NA that particular string NA to all the non available data okay so let us see how it will look so here suppose I'm now so many NAs are there and I can just find the age distribution of the athletes see this will come okay now I will make that NAs to zero and then I will show you okay later so I am going to convert all the values in medal column 
n a is in middle column to n a okay so i have, I have converted that now you see you can see here i am going to work for the head first six rows where the medal is gold see you got it so if you remove the NAs, you will get the proper uh, proper rows. That's the problem. So when you had NA in your data frame or that in the column medal, you are not getting properly. But when they assign a particular proper string NA to NAs, then you got the result. That's how. That's the use of removing the NAs. Okay. So I will just put for n is in age also to zero because age can never be zero. Now, if I plot the histogram, you can see it will change. Okay. See here some zeros are coming. Yes, yeah, zeros are coming because I assigned it to zero okay some athletes were not available i made to zero that's why it came so this is a histogram of the age so this is a number of frequency of age so, okay this is how we remove the na values so this is to get the unique games in the column games sport unique sport unique events unique teams okay so just so now if you want to find the athletes from india okay so now this will give you logical values for each row if the team is india it will give you true otherwise it will give false okay this it will show you the initial one only initial one everything will be false because i has not come india starts with i so now suppose the head i want to find the six first rows where the athlete teams is india this is a command for that so these are the six people okay so what is the command athletes df okay just i'll type and show you athletes df okay that's the data frame in that i want to know where athletes team team equal to i'll take another uh, japan japan okay and then comma all columns okay comma you are not going to put anything so it will show you all the athletes with the team name the, all the rows it will take all the rows with team equal to japan with all the columns okay okay this is how you retrieve that okay right to japan okay team is japan is showing okay, this is how you retrieve that suppose you want to uh, display on only the first column you can just put here one and then to display on the first column so you want to give second column to show you the second column it corresponds to id so now we are going to the next assignment to get the top countries participating okay so which can the top 10 countries that have sent athletes to olympics okay for that we are we will use the group by so this is a command how you are going to use it this is the variable name we are given top 10 and data frame i am passing that end data frame and i will group that by team okay and then next command is summarize summarize i'm this is also a variable i'm counting for each groups okay how many how many athletes are there for each because after grouping i am counting after grouping by team i am counting 
how many rows are there in for each team okay and then i am arranging it in the descending order okay so let us see okay now if you type if you want to know what is in top 10 just type this it is grouped by team okay it is a descending order that is the largest uh, highest one united states with this many numbers and then it has counted how many participants are there in each that's why this column okay team and participants team and then participants this is the variable name i gave here so suppose a uh, same you can type top 10 and see what are what columns are there in that okay team and then participants okay teams okay these are the teams that is present this okay so many teams are there so now i want to take the top 10 in the descending order this is a head command which shows the top 10 teams okay now i am going to plot that okay i'm going to give the head of top 10 10 head head 10 10 first rows and then this command tells to reorder the graph in based on participants this negative will give the other order other if you don't put negative it will come in the ascending otherwise it will show you the descending that's why y-axis is participants and then usual command for ggplot okay till here so i'm going to plot that plot the top 10 countries okay top 10 countries that has sent athletes to for olympics okay this is the using ggplot now if you i'll show regarding how it this if you remove the minus sign can see to give you other way around okay just zoom in okay united states will come in the last so this is the difference for putting minus sign here okay. just okay so that is so to show you in the descending order now to find unique sports athletes underscore df dollar season unique summer and winter now you want to find the summer sports okay summer sports where season is summer okay so what would be there in summer sports where season is summer everything will come okay from the athletes underscore df data frame for all the season which is summer it will show here okay summer on bigs all the columns are taken so if you want to know the unique sports for the summer you can just type here to show you all the unique sports okay. now you are going to do find the total number of males and females so again group by sex summarize male female number okay just i'm going this is a command for that just execute that command and you can see what is in the gender count males and females so how it came you group that by male or female and then you count each each rows that's what it came this many males are there and this many females are there okay 
and another way same thing you can do in another you can just count the groups this is also another method you can just see same thing i use n in the above command now here i am using length same it will show you okay just to and another function is t apply if you use t apply x and y are door of the column with sex and you're going to group it okay and see to show you same way as i'm telling another command the command is t apply you can use t apply and see one example i have taken for the t apply in the iris database suppose you are having this length of the sepals and the species okay and then you want to find the mean of the length so you are giving the length and then you are giving the species okay how many species are there there are three species i think <coughs> three three species are there see levels set so this three are there <coughs> so it will find the length for each species with the mean this is the explanation for the t apply just to tell you if you find them, see for the each three species it will tell the mean length just a minute okay i hope you understood you can just type here question mark t apply and c okay vector you have to give a vector and index okay and then function so here i gave this column and then to group that same column and then find the length okay that's what i did so here it show you same okay and then now i'm going to plot the pie chart for the number of females and males okay so i'm going to find the percentage and then i'm just going to plot the pie chart for the male female participation okay gender count is taken from this one gender count okay and then i'm going to plot the pie plot and to show you the percentage and i had the legend now to know the medals okay so to find the total number of medals i have again used the t apply so medals and the levels okay total medals column i am i'm giving dot rows uh, with the column medals okay and then i am asking the group based on this medal and the length okay you can see what is there in the medal bronze this many bronze this many gold this many na so i have put that string na for the not not available that's why it came and then silver you can just plot that pi plot with a um, simple pi plot pi graph okay okay now you can add the legend percentage everything like before and now i am going to find the total number of female athletes in summer olympics each year okay so what has to be done i have to give the data frame okay so grouping grouping based on column sex season and year okay and then find the total number in each group i mean grouped data based on sex column and then inside that season and inside that year let us try that okay okay so let us see what is there in the participants okay participants so what is the so first it will show you female because f and female and then male f and then m comes and then it is group based on the summer because s comes first before winter and then based on year year wise okay and then each one 
okay each in a number so female participants in the summer olympics of 19000 is 33 okay you can just type here participant head participants now if you want to know the 20 okay to show you oh 100 Okay, now it, it will show you only first ten and then ninety. So now you can just check the tail, and you can see, and the tail will be showing male and winter because that comes the last. Okay, let us check that tail of participants. Okay, male, the last six rows, male and winter. Okay, in the Winter Olympics in two thousand fourteen. this many males participated okay i hope you understood how it is done give the under data frame and group it based on the columns we want and then count the participants okay so this is male winter year and then count it how many are there okay now if you want to find the female participants alone this is a command from the participants okay Just got forty more rows. Now in the Winter Olympics, so this is logical and element-wise logical and okay. So you are going, you are telling from the participant from this participants variable, you want the column with female, and then season, winter, okay, and the end of columns, okay. So winter Olympics female, okay. Same thing. Suppose you want to find the summer Olympics. This is the command for that, and you can see you are storing it to a variable, and you can see this is females in the summer Olympics in each year, okay. This I told. This I showed you before. Tail and now Winter Olympics. Female tail tail portion. Okay, this man. So now you can plot the year-wise participation of the females. Okay, now here female underscore summer has got summer Olympic female participation. You can plot it. Okay. This is the graph for that. You can see a dip in nineteen eighty Moscow Olympics because the NATO countries boycotted the Olympics, so that's why a decrease. Rust is increasing. Okay, you can see it is increasing. Okay. Now you're going to find the gold medal athletes. How in the athletes underscore df. Where the medal equal, I mean, sixty more than sixty. Okay, gold medal athletes with age more than sixty. Okay, and athletes underscore df age is greater than sixty, and all columns. Okay, and you can see what is there in gold underscore medal. Okay. This, I mean, all athletes with age greater than sixty. Okay. Just how many are there? Six are there. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Just you can count how many are there, and can, it will get to six. Now, if you want to show the first column alone, N O C. Okay. So Netherlands, Sweden, and Russia, U S A. If you want to show the first and second column, let me come in. First and second column. These are all number. Okay. And now, I want to show 
first two and thirteenth column. So this is the command for that to find which sport thirteenth column contains sport. So gold and age get and sixty column one comma two and thirteenth. This is now it is another you can do another method also this is directly from the data frame you can use this method also that is i am passing the athletes underscore df and group it based on the sex and medal and count it how many other and you can see here what is in that female bronze how many are there female gold how many are there and then male bronze all these things okay now if you want to find the female yellow the command and now from you can age you can sort it greater than 60 there's a command age greater than 60 and now you can see come six see true okay one and then it is greater than 60 how many are not got female how many are not got any medal greater than 60 is 66 like that okay now you can find the from that column you can find how many are this is the column for greater than 60 the true columns alone you can show okay bronze 3 3 above 60 as 1 bronze in female like that okay so suppose gold how many are there one here and five here that is six okay that's what we got before we got here count we count gold medal which give six so same six one here and five here okay and then so where we reach yeah and then now we have to wish we can visualize that so this is the gold medal six people's details so now i want to find which sport okay has got gold model out from that six okay so with with means you are using this data frame and you are go going to make a table of medal and sport how for it will be each medal for which sport that that's a function of table you can see what is in tbl so medal gold three in archery one not competition one in rock one in shooting and if you plot the bar plot for tbl to show you okay archery three and if you want to know the region from where same way okay usa sweden and netherlands okay. so now gold from for which country the gold has maximum gold so you're going to plot that so here i'm going to give the entire data frame group it by region medal and then count for each one okay you can see what is in the country underscore gold okay for each one based on bronze gold silver everything is is shown now and the count how many okay number now if you want to find the gold alone algeria 5 gold argentina 91 gold like that now you want to plot for the top 10 countries with gold in their olympics okay so i am going to group it by region and medal and then i am going to count it for each block how many part participants are there and i am going to arrange it in the descending order that's a descending decreasing okay so top 10 gold 
so this will be having all the countries with the gold and I want only 10 so now it will be it will be only 10 will be there 10 countries and I'm going to plot that same way this will be having which countries sorry sorry this is not the way this is uh, it will give you for that this is for the each one how many are there that's a problem so see here each one which will that's not the method sorry you have to use the ggplot okay so ggplot sorry this is not the method uh, symbol plot with the table function you cannot use it okay so he you can you I'll try this. No, it will show you error. So now you have to, that's why I use the GG plot. Sorry for that. So GG plot, you are given the top 10 gold. Top 10 gold will have the top 10 countries with the gold. Okay. And then X is region, Y is participants. And then just plot it. Okay. Only GG plot will show you the correct. Okay. USA has got the maximum gold okay, and this is how you plot it and now we are going to find for the Rio Olympics so which is the year maximum year 2016 at the Rio Olympics so now I'm going to find <coughs> in the Rio Olympics maximum gold okay So athletes underscore df where it is year is equal to 2016 and medal equal to gold and eight column. Okay, so uh, let us see what is in the team underscore names. It has got the region name, okay, or country name. And now I am going to sort it, okay, sort it, sort table names so team names okay team underscore names this has got this is stored in team underscore names so suppose if you sort it what will come okay this is now we are sorted so now you are going to sort it and then table underscore team names okay so I'll show you what is in the question. So it will show you how many gold for each country. Okay, so in the team underscore names we have a store for the year 2016 medal equal to gold. So it is telling how many how many uh, for, for how many gold for each team that's using the table command and then I am sorting it and then I'm going to show the last 10 using the tail command okay so last 10 okay. using the tail command now you can just bar plot that see there's a simple bar plot and you can As, uh, adjust the graphical margins and then bar plot it horizontally horizontal true okay horizontal plot la is equal to one so you will get the horizontal names here otherwise it will, it will be written vertically so this is the gold medal in rio because this is one third is under because basketball the num number of participants is more that's why has gone very high team games has come in the united states okay so i have shown the visualization also now we are going to do with the height and weight of the medal winners so i am taking all the medals gold silver and bronze by giving not equal to na 
Okay. So this will have grouping based on whether where the gold, bronze and silver. And also we can use this method athletes underscore df where metal is not equal to na okay same you can same same okay you get the same thing see a bronze silver n except n everything has come now you can just plot the six and seven columns correspond to height and weight okay height and weight of all the metal winners okay just plot this this is the plot you will get for all the metal winners gold silver and bronze height height is this row the, the x-axis is height and this is the y-axis for the weight for all the females and males okay now i am going to take the male alone okay male alone and male height and male weight okay i am going to plot that using the color red okay okay so this is the male male height and weight okay to this i'm going see i tried a lot of methods because this one if you give um, it, the legends are overwritten okay or the x labels for x and y are overwritten so this you have to use this command you have to add points to this okay points okay points command so we have plotted for height and height versus weight of male so now this is for female height and weight so if you use the command points it will come on the same plot okay using different color okay and then i have added the legend so i'll show you okay so so this is a scatter plot so you can adjust this one and then you can see the position you can adjust you can just make it to top and then it will not come on this one so i'll just check that 150 you can just keep it on 90. yeah that's better so i'll just plot it again so mail height versus weight and then i am adding on to that plot female height versus weight in another blue color and then i am adding the legend okay so this is the plot for height versus weight of male males and females who have won medals i hope you understood so this is the command for adding the legend so this shows the shape of the marking and i hope you understood so this graph tells you what what it tells you the height and weight of the athletes who have won medals that is gold silver or bronze and for the males and females how the height and weight are distributed males are shown with red color females are shown with blue color height versus weight i hope you understood so this is the analysis of the olympics database till the rio olympics i have done how many total athletes were the participation from each country how to retrieve that i will we'll just have a recap of what we had done
so we have read the csv files to data frame and then we have used the merge command to combine that based on the column noc and then we have renamed the column just to tell you how to rename and then we found the summary we found which all columns have got the NAs and we removed the NAs and we show the effect of having NAs and then how to remove the NAs and then I plot the histogram after removing the NAs and then we found the unique games and all the things and then we saw how to retrieve different column, rows and columns on conditions and it is done with the logical values and retrieve the rows that has got the true values that's what we do here and now then then I told about the how to find the top 10 countries that has sent the athletes for Olympics for that you have to group by team and the count the number of rows after grouping and then I plotted that and then I found the males and females how many males and females using different methods using the n, n function and length function and t apply okay. and then I plotted the pi graph for the males and females and also for the medal and then for I found the female athletes in summer Olympics for each year okay using the group group command and then retrieving the data from that and then we found gold medal athletes from with age more than 60 and we plotted that also that which from which sport it is coming <coughs> and also from which region they are coming and then top countries that have got gold medal that also we did we visualized that also so we had to use the ggplot ordinary plot with that table will not the problem is I showed you the problem also to show that it will give you it will give an error that's why we cannot use that table command for that so if you had to use the you had to use proper ggplot for that and then we found and then we went for the Rio Olympics gold gold medal athletes and then we plotted that and then finally we plotted for the height versus weight for the athletes using the scatter plot on the same plot okay I hope you understood if you got any doubts Please comment. I'll reply to that. Thank you.